Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Poppy Eats. Today I'm trying the latest from Buffalo Wild Wings. There was a bit of confusion, but I think I've kind of sort of figured it out maybe. Anyways, they have these new things called Bird Dogs, uh, which if I recall is also an underwear brand. But today a bird dog is a hot dog, but instead of the hot dog, it's a chicken finger, chicken tender, whatever. Um, I got two. You can order them on the app, but you can only get like two of one kind. For whatever reason, when I called it in, they were able to do one of each. Um, also, this is the second time I've gone to this store where I called in an order and nobody ever actually put the order in, so I had to wait for it when I got here. So thanks, Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, yeah, so there's a new happy hour thing that starts today from 3 to 6 p.m. So I thought I'd be getting a deal on these if I waited and got these for dinner instead of lunch. Uh, it's from 3 to 6 p.m. and the items are 3 to 6 dollars. Well, these are 12 dollars for two all day. Apparently that's the same during the happy hour. And it comes with a side, I got fries. So there's three different kinds, I got two of them. Let's check them out, they look pretty beautiful here. Let's, let's get our stupid selfie thumbnail, I'll talk about them a bit. Is that enough? I don't know, these are, these are good looking dogs here. Okay. Uh, I got the loaded one. The loaded one comes with beer cheese. Oh, well, you know what? Yeah, there it is. If they gave me the right thing. The loaded one has beer cheese and their wild honey mustard. And I see some cheese on this top one. So that must be the loaded. And then I got the buffalo one, which has a Napa slaw and their medium buffalo sauce. And you'll see it when I take this out, but there's some slaw on the bottom. And you can see the buffalo sauce on there. They've covered them with chives. There's an onion on this one. Ah, let's dig in. Got a fry popping out of my container over there. Kind of mediocre fries. We'll save those. We'll reheat them in the old uh, air fryer or a snack or something. Okay, so let's start with the. Let's start with the loaded one because it's kind of falling apart here. You got this giant ass chicken tender on there. Plus all the stuff on this toasted bun. Uh, a little pricey, but maybe, I mean, is this worth $6? Let's find out. Hmm. Oh, holy shit. Hot sauce is on there. It's supposed to have a honey mustard with the cheese, but clearly they screwed up because it is hot. I got a bite with the beer cheese. Um, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. The chicken finger, chicken tender, whatever it is, decent size. Um, speaking of chicken fingers, chicken tenders, I was debating this the other day because somebody brought it up in one of their videos. What is the difference? Now, I've seen them called different things in different places, but now I'm starting to think there actually is a difference. I'm thinking a chicken tender is made from the actual chicken breast tenderloin part of the chicken breast. And I'm thinking a chicken finger is just flattened out uh, chicken breast deep fried, right? Problem is, places like Zaxby's call them chicken fingers, but I'm guessing those might still be chicken tenders. I don't know. Do you know? Let me know in the comments. The onions are a nice touch on this. I didn't see that on the on the menu, like I don't know if it's supposed to have the onions. They work well on it. It's not supposed to have this hot buffalo sauce. Mm. I could see it working well with the honey mustard and the cheese. That could be a good one for you. The cheese is good. That's pretty tasty. Um, Let's try this other one. 
the buffalo one. And like I said, on the bottom, there's this Napa slaw. I don't know what makes it from Napa, but... I'm liking this one. I like that slaw on the bottom. The sauce has a kick to it. It's their medium, but they're the mediums I've been getting down here in the south. This medium actually has a kick to it. Hmm. Pretty good. As a combo, at a restaurant, with the side, you get to pick a side. I think the 12 bucks, well, I think it's like 11 tax. I think that's what I paid. It doesn't come with a drink. I think if I had a drink, that would be a good combo. Maybe a little pricey without. Otherwise, I could see paying, uh, that's a big chicken tender, right? $354 for these a la carte, maybe? what I had hoped I'd be paying during the supposed happy hour that nobody could really tell me about. They're pushing it today on their Instagram. I saw a thing on Chew Boom about it. I go in here, I'm like, well, you guys are on some sort of happy hour? And he's like, well, in North Carolina, we can't do happy hour. But from three to six, we have some lower prices on things. I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So are these part of it? He's like, oh, no, 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 no. Well, take a look at this picture from Buffalo Wild Wings on their Instagram. You would sure freaking think it's part of it, wouldn't ya? Wouldn't ya? Yeah, this one's the winner. Um, well, that said, they made my other one wrong. I did not get the wild honey mustard. I still don't think it would be the winner for me because I'm really liking that slaw. It cuts through everything else. This one. Bloppy saucy mess. I don't know. I don't know. A little pricey. Let me know if you tried them. Um, there's also a barbecue one that has like french fries on top of it. I don't know. That seems unnecessary. That seems unnecessary. That and some sort of honey barbecue sauce, I think. Yeah. So I'm all the way down here. I had to drive about 20 minutes to get here. I was gonna go to a, a thing later, a George Michael documentary uncut at the theater. But they've only added in an extra 20 minutes. And I figured, you know what, I can get my two hours and my $16 back because I've already seen the rest of it. So I'm not going. I'm not going. I don't know what the mood would be. I obviously didn't sell it out. There's, there's a good handful of people. So they're gonna take one or two annoying people singing along to everything that just pissed me off. Um, yeah, so I'm not going. I might go try some more food. Well, not if I finish this. <laughs> um, thank you for all the well wishes yesterday. I've switched from crazy bandage to regular bandages. I keep having to swap that out. God, it's disgusting. Ugh. Never have to. I don't think I'd have to look at such a big hole in my finger and then clean it and dress it up. Mm. Not a fan. Not a fan. All right, let's get this onion. I don't think this is supposed to come with onions, but they gave. I mean, they're here. They, they gave me the onions. They're good. Makes sense. You know, you got the beer cheese, you got the sauteed onions. If it isn't supposed to come with that, it should, because that works. But I didn't get the, uh, I don't know. 
This Buffalo Wild Wings is hurting. They got a lot of bad reviews. They've always been nice to me when I show up, but like I said, twice in a row now, I didn't even place my order. They only have a bartender right now. The manager's like, yeah, sorry, me and my general manager, we're running the whole show right now. And I'm like, geez, you guys can't get anyone? Ouch. Because believe it or not, people are eating here. There are people pulling in. There's a ton of restaurants around. No offense, Buffalo Wild Wings, like, I've had better. Um, I don't, at this point in my life, I don't go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I, I'm, I'm above that. I either go way cheaper or go nicer. There's a place called Wild Wing Cafe down the road. It's better. Um, same prices, pretty much. Just it's it's still a chain. It's, it's better food. It's better wings. It's better everything. So I don't know why people are going here, if I'm being honest with you. But they are, and they're here. But there's nobody to serve them and see them and cook their food, apparently. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, people are realizing they don't have to do this server waiter stuff anymore. It's not worth it. Make the same money elsewhere, more, better, less stress. Uh, good for them. That means we get a mass closing of all these restaurants and stuff that can't staff people. I'm gonna get rinse. There'll be enough of them that can. I'll go to those. Um, that's a gaudy looking Dodge Charger. Um, yeah. Last time I'm gonna finish this, I might go try a. Uh, there's a Dunkin' Donuts brown sugar cold brew something. I think I'm done with Dunkin' Donuts videos. Dunkin' Donuts sucks. I mean, don't get me wrong. If there's donuts at work that are Dunkin', I'll gladly eat some. That's fine. They're good donuts. They're good enough. Um, nothing earth shattering. The drinks are all right. Like, it's not bad. It's just, it's not worth doing a video on. I just don't want to do it. So I'm not gonna. But I am going to let you guys go. Uh, again, I'm Pep. I feel like I need to burp. I can't burp. Fun fact, I can't burp. I don't know how to burp. I can't force myself to burp. I just don't do it. I'll let out a teeny tiny burp. Maybe once every other month or so. Um... And I'm like, oh, I just burped. I get all excited. Yeah, so, I'm Poppy. This is Poppy Eats. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. Let me know if you've gotten these, if yours were similar or... I don't, I don't freaking know. Hit the like button if you liked the video. I really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys. Take care.